Hi, um, just trying to get this so I can lean back and do the video, so uh, feeling a bit tender with uh, this here thing. I've had a rough couple of days, so I'm feeling a bit haggard. <laughs> um, I've had a few questions um, from loved ones about why I'm choosing to um, go through with the various procedures. Um, I don't know, I think I'm using, uh, I'm avoiding using the words change my gender because um, that seems so changing from blue to red, it's like an extreme difference and I don't see that I'm going to do that. Uh, things will change about me that I don't like. Um, like my chest, um, my voice, um, my facial hair, you know, things like that will become more masculine. I'm already masculine anyway, so uh, I don't think there'll be huge changes uh, as far as that anyway. So, um, and you know, other things like. Um, when I came back from America, you know, I went to get a bank account, and um, in America, when you signed things and had official papers and such like that, um, I really got used to not needing to give myself a title. And suddenly, you know, I went back to Belfast, and um, I even said to them at the bank when I had the appointment to open the account. Um, do I have to fill in this line for Miss and Mister because I don't feel comfortable with it? And they were like, oh well the computer won't recognize it and you know basically um, the country will fall down if I don't uh, <laughs> fill in the Miss or Mister. Um, I was quite happy being uh, something else, something in between and I didn't w really want to be identified uh, that way and I've never enjoyed it um, when I'm lumped in with the girls, I always tend to grit my teeth. Um, if I'm called lady, I tend to joke and try and be a bit subversive by saying things like I ain't no lady. Um, most people don't get what I'm saying there and they go, oh dear. Or, you know, they literally think I have they have made a mistake. If they don't make, if they don't know me, they literally think that, well, I was kind of thinking you were a man, but I wasn't sure what to say. So, I mean, that was quite funny. Um, but let me see, I wrote down a few questions so I wouldn't lose track too badly. Um, main part is Samantha's question. Um, Samantha's um, I always think of her, my daughter, she's a kid I raised in America, and hi Samantha, love you lots, miss you lots, um, hopefully we'll get to see you soon, um, and I'm really proud of you Samantha, just so you know, um, um, I've always thought you rock, so, um, uh, that's just a little shout out. <laughs> um, but she wanted to know why, and I'm sure she wants to know that. Um, Samantha's not uninformed. Um, Samantha's grown up knowing, you know, butch and femme and such like. Um, so it's not like she's new to all this. Um, I think she, though, is like I was when I was in my 20s, where she is, oh, what's the word? Um, feeling very free and vital um, because when I came out of the closet you know it was just that the world was amazing you know so what was I you know 19 or 20 I can't remember now um, and it was very freeing and I did feel very militant and you know wanted to go out and do all the marches and of course I ended up on that front page of the newspaper in the Syracuse Press and Journal years ago, which was really quite funny. Um, I th that's how I got outed to uh, the community that knew me, 
Um, also was quite amazing how suddenly people stopped calling after that. Um, you know, uh, Tara the Irish one is also an Irish dyke, so um, that filtered out my friends. Um, it was quite sad um, because um, I had a year in a high school there that was really fabulous and had wonderful friends that enjoyed their company and they they uh, were young back then and uh, went away um, probably were afraid that they would catch the gay thing. Um, what else? Um, Fee and Penny wanted to know how big it would be. <laughs> um, the jury's still out on that one, but I th they, when I tried to explain that to them, they were really confused. Um, oh, uh, what do you say? Um, that the jury's still out, that you're not sure that you want uh, the fixings and the plumbings? Um, I don't know, I've seen procedures, I've looked at procedures and all different kinds of things and um, I want to be quite natural and it feels a bit weird where you know my plumbing's going to get messed with and I do worry about stuff like that so I don't know, it's going to be a wait and see and see how my body responds to the tea because um, I know that things will change um, in that department, so um, I will. That's really a wait and see. That's a, a blank note there, but I do like that my friends and Penny and Fee are straight friends, um, and I do like that they had the freedom to ask me that question, so that was cool. Um, what else? Um, oh yeah, one of my biggest worries, and it's, it's, you know, it's just a little over a week now, um, where I have to go to the psych appointment. Um, I've got one psych appointment in um, Aberdeen, um, in the famous Cornhill Hospital, so I'm going to be, you know, potty. <laughs> I've never actually been to psycho counselling so I'm a bit freaked out about what to do or what to say. Um, a bit freaked out by a stranger asking me questions. Um, I know that I can only be honest um, so I mean that'll be alright uh, and then I have to go again to Glasgow and I've been told that that's going to be an hour worth of appointments and I think that's where my initial blood work will happen. So um, that all makes me quite nervous. Um, I'm also nervous that um, I always felt that I was probably naturally high in testosterone anyway. Um, so I do know that there are other people that because they were naturally high they didn't get the tea and um, that would disappoint me. Uh, that's something that I worry about. I really, uh, now that uh, now that I've told mum and uh, mum's being so supportive, um, I really just want to get started. Um, I'm busting out of my skin. Um, uh, I also worry that my partner here um, is avoiding talking about it or thinks that I'm talking about it too much. Um, but I'm really looking forward to it. I, and, you know, I'm like a kid on Christmas, so it's not that I'm worried about it, it's just... Um, it's a case of finally, you know, finally? Yeah, all right. Um, but I don't know what else to say. Uh, that's it for now. I'll probably do another video next week. Uh, love you all. And uh, love you Sam. And love you Mum.